South Park, The Stick of Truth. Stop watching review. And I'm playing this on Steam, so let's start the review! I'm okay! Stick of Truth is a game that I played for non-typical reasons. That being said, I must say that I'm not a huge fan of the show like most people. I've only seen about a dozen episodes of the actual show, and I have more easily defined myself as a Simpsons fan otherwise. The reason I play this game is because of its large comparison to the Paper Mario series, a series I hold very near and dear to myself. Based on that inference alone, I have finished this game, and it's safe to say that this game is mind-blowingly awesome. What rocks about this game more or less is the turn-based combat and the very in-depth customizable RPG elements. These elements include creating your own tailored character, choosing between four battle classes, and accessing a good array of partners to battle with. As for looks, this game's visuals are based heavily on the show, and it's as if you're playing one huge South Park episode. The writing is also witty, yet vulgar in some areas, so discretion is easily advised. Now considering all the good, there is a huge fair bit of wrong with this RPG. First of all, when you exit a battle, you recover all your HP and power points. This can make the game feel too easy and inconsistency is present as it does not restore your mana as well. Second is game breaking glitches. By the last hour of the game, all of my game characters were glitching out of the cutscenes to the point that they were completely gone. And lastly, the game feels fairly short, though I do admit that I only did about two or three of the available side quests. With all this in mind though, this game is certainly solid and shows just how well you can fuse the mediums of TV and video games, and it will easily satisfy people like me looking for a Paper Mario-esque gameplay. South Park The Stick of Truth gets an 8.3 out of 10!